Hey, what's up guys? It's my games GX here and we're going to be doing another post info replay. I'm going to be keep doing, I'm going to keep doing these because you guys really did enjoy the last couple ones. It's going to be all branded based. I'm not trying to steal DB grinders thunder. We're going to obviously keep it in our, in our wheelhouse, at least with the decks that we're focused on. We might even do Salamangre and other things like that. Bring other duelists on to talk about it. But I do want to say that this was a dual post info that I had against a high rated player, Lerzinger, very nice guy. And he was playing gimmick puppets so let's see how this goes i lose the die roll as you guys know that is never really an optimal kind of thing to happen when you're going against the gimmick puppet deck so let's see what happens i don't draw bestials which is kind of like the main deck option that we have as branded players to stop the gimmick puppeters is a bestial so he obviously goes terraforming into mansion the mansion also makes them completely unaffected by non exceeds effect monsters so it means you can't hand trap gimmick puppets on the field essentially so nibiru effect veiler and ash blossom on a monster on the field will not affect them which is very good it's almost like the 10 pie field spell they just keep giving out these really broken field spells he searches out the bloody doll which is one of their best extenders because it gets them a monster out of their deck it's an e-tally but he also started the little soldiers which is their best normal summon because you can just pitch any gimmick puppet from uh from your deck to your grave and make it a level eight so it just helps make an extension he sends the cattle scream which has an effect if it's used as excuse material then he's gonna go bloody doll into summoning the dreary doll from deck which gives him rank eight access as you guys see i have no interruptions though and most of the time as long as gimmick puppets gets to play they are going to win so this is why i kind of side this is why i kind of just scoop right here so i don't give him any informations i'm like i have no hand traps i was just like i'm not gonna like i'm sorry you know like i wanted him to play out his combo i know this is testing but also i don't want to give him information and there's no reason to waste either of our times and so let's show the hands guys he draws service puppet gimmick puppet bloody doll thrust nibiru and little soldiers i draw gold sark branded fusion cartesia mercurier and fallen of albaz he draws the nibiru which you guys will see comes up but obviously uh let's see what happens i see i go gold sark here into the mercurier with this kind of hand it's like a three card combo hand we already have the mercurian in hand which is super strong for the nibiru in hand right now so uh, being able to just go straight Mercurier, search into Albion to set up a Albaz in Graveyard for Cartesia to be able to special summon itself is good. And I get the plus one here. I set, I get the Aluber, and now I special summon the Cartesia. The Aluber top deck was nuts here, I'm not going to lie. Now I can just go normal summon the Aluber, search the High Spirits. So this becomes almost like a th uh, amazing three-card combo because, guys, I do have Albaz in hand. So I'm going to search the High Spirits. I already have Branded Fusion. I would still search the Branded Fusion if I had went Albaz or if... Um, or I would still search the high spirits if I hadn't had branded fusion because then I could search the kit to search brand, uh, branded fusion again. So, you know, guys, I think high spirits is one of those bridges that is way better to search than branded fusion a lot of the time. Won't get ash. People are afraid of it unless they really know what they're doing against branded. High level players will ash the high spirits because they know it can generate a lot of advantage. So you do have to be wary about that card advantage but we do have the brand fusion here i have the mercurier if, if he had ash here it would have definitely really hurt i will not lie i mean i could have kept playing i do have the bestial luber but it wouldn't have been that great now i go into lubelion albaz so i could actually get into um the lost line now i am going against gimmick puppets though guys so you guys are going to see i have an interesting line here I banish the two Albazes, going to Lubelion to discard the Luber. So I have a uh, Albaz in graveyard for Branded and Red, and then I fuse back uh, the Albazes, and I go into a Borload Furious Dragon because I'm like I'm going against Gimmick Puppets. You obviously can't Gimmick Puppet Gimmick Puppets, as he said. I ain't getting Gimmick Lock today. So if you just Gimmick Puppet Lock a Gimmick Puppet play, you're just giving them a free Rank Eight, essentially a free body to get to a Rank Eight, which is just bad. So you really going into post info format as a branded player, you have to be very careful. You need to make sure to go into the main phase and Gimmick Puppet Lock. Yes, there are going to be Dark Ruler No Mores, but Dark, you can play around those type of things and dark ruler no more has never been a card that blows you out unless you really just have a board of mirror jade sanctifier which you never should be you should be fusing on your opponent's turn through branded loss unless you're running some whack build without uh branded lost but so now we have the borloid furious dragon which is really good i think it's the best card against gimmick puppets that you have because of the fact you can pop the field spell which makes their monsters interactable so i do also have the mercurier for to keep the lubelion on board so that mercurier is lost 
and then he goes Nibiru, and I'm so lucky I still have Lubelion. Uh, so I'm really glad I went the Lubelion line. Like you guys could have, I could have just went Albion then Boral, but I went Lubelion so I could keep a body for the Mercurier, which is really important to play around Nibiru in like a situation like this. I mean, Nibiru doesn't ever blow me out, but it would have definitely taken away some advantage. I go Lubelion, get the brand lost. I fuse off the Aluber plus the Cartesia, so I get an eruption in the graveyard. Go chain link one Grand Guignol, chain link two Brand Lost under Brand Lost protection. Search a Cartesia for an extra discard fodder and then i go grand guignol send the titan clad also i take back the albion from before and send a albalinate or a renbrum because like i just i was not thinking through my, my, my plays but you guys would have seen i would have had two albions but this is the setup like having like that three or four card combo set us up with renbrum titan clad albion plus boral plus grand guignol plus lost it's really really good i mean we even had mercurier of course and now i try to activate cartesia obviously i can't do that so i go end phase and and then I'll go Titan Clad to get the Quem, Quem Effect to send the Retribution for follow-up since we do have a Branded Fusion in Graveyard. And then we can go Branded, um, then we can go LB on the Branded Dragon into setting the brand in Red so that we have more Interruptions. Because at this point, we're just going to play how normally Branded plays. We are just going to set up a fuck ton of Interruptions so our, our opponent can't play the game. He draws Thrust, which is really not good because here he has the Thrust. Also, Service Puppet's pretty bad in this hand. And the Nibiru just being a dead weight definitely hurts. He goes Bloody Doll, which is definitely the best start you could have had. Like, I had Nightfall on the call when we were watching this, and he was like, yeah, that's a really good start, even with, like, the setup we have. So, like, if he had all gas, he might have been able to play through this. You guys got to be wary about that. But he did not. So, give him a Bloody Doll comes out on the board, and he special summons out the Bisque Doll which is a not it basically makes it so you can't uh target gimmick puppet monsters you control with the turn so then on resolution i go grand guignol effect since that was an activated monster effect to special summon another monster so i go grand guignol to summon out the despian quertus in the extra monster zone because you can do that i had someone in my comments the other day say you can't so you couldn't which is just like no you can summon despian quertus in the extra monster zone under grand guignol that's how it works um so then he goes into the Gimmick Puppet Giant Grinder. So all the Gimmick Puppet Xyz monsters are ignition effects. They are not quick effects and they are not on summon effects. So um, essentially you can wait for them to go into their uh, Xyzes before you interact with them. That's a huge thing. So uh, he has the Giant, or I've, he goes into Giant Grinder here. And then obviously I go into the Rinbrum, which was my third piece of interruption. Very good. Now I can just make a Mirror Jade since I don't, that's why I didn't make a Mirror Jade last turn because I knew I could just make a Mirror Jade on my opponent's turn and fuse off their opponents. And so then I uh, make into a Mirror Jade, um, which gives me a Branded Law Search, but my other Mercurier is already banished, which sucks. But I already have enough Interruption to definitely win. But if I had another Mercurier in deck, this field probably would have played through any hand he had, frankly. Uh, but he does go thrust here. I'm worried about that. I'm like, he goes, if he goes like lightning storm or red geki or something that could actually cook me, but he just thrusts out for a talents, which is kind of why I want to see talents is like, it sucks because he goes talents to take. And I think about it here. I basically go bore load furious dragon to pop itself and the triple tactics talent. So he can't go bore load, take bore load, pop itself in my branded and red. So it would force the branded and red. I want to do the branded and red on my own time. Um, so he takes the mirror jade, which is a level eight. So it is kind of what it is but he's probably going to try to use that to get into a level a extender which is fine and he goes into the uh he used best stall to not target doesn't matter i don't really target outside of the borel which is funny so then uh gimmick puppet little soldiers comes out and he sends the druid doll he makes it a level eight and now he can exceed summon with the mirror jade which is hilarious uh into the phantasm uh mix machina and at this point, I'm like, I, I was like debating if I should have hit him before the Xyz. But remember, guys, their Xyzes don't do anything. So you have to just wait for the Xyz. And this card just searches um, a rank up spell. I was debating on actually just pop it here, popping it here. But I just decided to give it to him. Because the thing is, they have to FTK you to, to kill you, even go sacking. So like, if you just prevent their FTK measures, like you are just fine. It's very easy to handle gimmick puppets going second. So basically, I'm keeping my... Um, I'm keeping my whole my, my gun dry right here because I Brandon Red and then he goes into Gimmick Puppet Giant Hunter, which is a huge guy. Um, you can target one card your opponent controls, destroy it, and inflict e e damage equal to the attack, which is very good. And so at this point, he just scoops because he knows I have Brandon Red, which can then go Guardian Chimera and Pop because he has no other extenders. So that was the game, and now we're gonna go game three. So now I have to basically see a, a hand trap or I die. He opens up Big Steel Magnemite, Bloody Doll, 
little soldiers terraforming best stall an amazing hand by all means actually i'm not gonna lie maybe not the best stall but but i have droll and lockbird which droll and lockbird if you didn't know completely stops the gimmick puppet ftk so like essentially most of their going first burn damage cards like giant grinder you have to like or some of the burn options not gr giant grinder but one of the burn options you have to draw in the effect it's like guardian chimera if you're under droll you can't guardian chimera it's just the same thing if you're under droll you can't inf get to the exact 8000 so droll always prevents the fdk against uh, uh gimmick puppets and that's why i think it's gonna be very good this format um so i do have the gimmick i do have the droll but he has an amazing hand and he starts and he starts with the bloody doll again which is so good he goes into this into the cattle which is just very good cow scream just allowing him to extend even more and then fantastic machinas comes out and he's going to be able to search which is really good for me because obviously he has to play into it so he searches out the rank up magic and then i go droll and lockbird which really messes him up there because he's like sadly i can't um under droll yep exactly so the burn effect requires me to draw on the effect for some reason so that's kind of what happened there so he has the magnum up though so at this point he's kind of gonna have to stop a board that just doesn't die to me at this point so he goes into the little soldiers once again and he's depending on what to send he's sending the dreary doll and then he still has the magnum up which could mess me up but i do have a really nice field and they do have interruption so he's gonna step another rank a he's gonna get the bloody doll basically back to hand and then he's gonna go into rank up magic to go into the fantastic machina which is an interruption if a monster is special summon to your opponent's field you can target one of them destroy it and inflict damage equal to half its attack so it's very much how they can just loop on your a turn and ftk you but it's also how they have an interruption on your turn so and then the strings doesn't really do anything here kind of surprised about that but then i go fusion dupe deployment because i failed to read the fantastics guys this is why you have to read cards i almost lost this game three which was uh very like just right here on the spot because of the fact i didn't read machina uh because i go deployment to albaz here because i'm like oh he he doesn't have a negate and then i'm like fallen of albaz and fantastics I, I get really been the ass there so then i go but i do have talents at least i'm like i'm debating on hand rip or draw i'm really glad i went draw because like even if i went hand rip i went hand rip magnum that wouldn't have done a whole lot and so i go plus two for plus one for the high spirits gold sark which is just so good gold sark and high spirits gives me so much combo ability i go gold sark into mercurier mercurier into search shrouded dragon and then i can go shrouded dragon effect to pitch for cost a retribution chain high spirits to do the trick shot to send the albion search the cartesia which is now live now I can go retribution to get discard fodder of the branded high spirits for uh branded opening branded opening uh go into the aluber aluber effect get the branded in red so I have follow up through ash blossom and ways to otk him because the brand red will let me go into a despian quertus because all of his monsters are in attack position so that means we can go for a despian quertus otk which is typically what you can do then I go branded fusion no ash blossom the ash blossom would have hurt but brand red definitely help, would have helped me continue to play through although he did have the magnum so maybe not but he would have had to choose between the albion and the magnum to be fair so then I go albion and lubelion into again the albion so that i can get lost access for cartesia and then i go i i was gonna go into the mirror jade yeah no i go into mirror jade here uh banishing the albion and graveyard i sent off of the high spirits because i know i can otk him this turn as long as, long as he doesn't have like nibiru right here or something he doesn't have the nibiru though i could have maybe played around the nibiru a little bit better but that's fine i go lubelion tribute the albion uh to get it back in the graveyard then go lost and loss or i'll go into despian quartus there because despian quartus in attack position even though it can't attack directly it can make all of his monsters zero attack i do have brandon red or it will no brand red the monster i can't i summon off a of brand red i can't attack directly but with quartus i can just make them zero and still do damage so i search the mercurier just in case for any sort of hand trap at this point which is very smart with magnum up and so then i go mirror jade uh bash the bigger guy for 3100 then i chain quartus then i chain brandon and red uh making a uh albalinatus at that point because it's just a dragon plus albaz because that gets me to otk 25 25 plus three is three thousand so as long as he doesn't have two best deals essentially i otk him and at this point he goes bestial magnum i chain the mercurier and he loses the game on the spot to that so i feel like i definitely recovered there and played that really nicely and we all kind of learned how to play against gimmick puppets now it's just how to win against gimmick puppets with branded guys you don't you don't gimmick puppet you prioritize you prioritize uh cards like borloid furious dragon and 
obviously just go tit for tat on their extension and a lot, a lot of the times you kind of just got to let them keep doing their combo because their combo isn't going to go into negates it's going into burn cards so you can kind of let them combo off and stop them right before their exceeds do anything so yeah guys with that being say, said leave a like down below if this video gets 100 likes we'll do much more uh dueling book replays post info and just more branded commentaries like this we'll be seeing you guys later uh leave a like check out all the links below comment down below what you guys thought about the duel see you guys later